Now let's look at how a tug of war over funding could stall NASA. The next Mars rover is scheduled to blast off later this month. After it lands on the red planet, the car-sized rover will be powered by a special kind of plutonium. Plutonium-238 is not the same plutonium used for bombs. Now, uh, plutonium is a wholly man-made uh, element, and it's made from this process of purifying and purifying and purifying uranium. It's highly toxic. Kitty Feldy with KPCC Public Radio in Los Angeles. Could you talk a little bit about um, the propulsion system, since you're not using the solar panels that the earlier rovers had used? Because if you say nuclear, people seem to have a problem with that. Can you talk about the safety issues of launching nuclear fuel into space? There is a, a process we go through that perhaps Doug can speak more to, where we go through a, 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 a very sophisticated safety analysis involving the launch vehicle people and DOE and independent reviewers to define the environments and to look at the safety of this device with the environments and to make it better. Hi, I'm Ashwin Vasavada, the Deputy Project Scientist for the Mars Science Laboratory mission and its Curiosity rover. So a lot of people wonder why uh, Curiosity doesn't have solar panels like the Mars Exploration rover, Spirit and Opportunity. The Mars Exploration rovers often found themselves short on power as dust settled on their solar panels. This was especially a problem in the short days of winter. We need a good, strong, and reliable source of power to keep Curiosity going for over two years on Mars. Curiosity is two times bigger, five times heavier, and has 15 times the weight of scientific equipment relative to spirit and opportunity. On this half-scale model of the generator, you can see what's inside. The generator contains a specially produced form of plutonium dioxide. The natural decay of this radioisotope gives off heat, which these thermocouples can turn into electricity. The generator provides both electrical power and heat to the rover. About 100 watts of electrical power is used to continuously charge the rover's battery. Also, heat can be pumped off of the generator using pipes to keep the rover's insides warm, including the scientific instruments. With Curiosity's generator, there's a guaranteed way of charging the battery year-round in all sorts of conditions. Curiosity's generator was developed by the Department of Energy and will be installed on the rover just a few days before launch. But to make sure everything works together properly, the engineers installed the actual generator on the rover for the first time. The blue light that you see was just additional lighting to help them make sure they could see what they were doing. The Curiosity rover and the spacecraft that will take it to Mars are currently in Florida, undergoing its final preparations for launch. Everything's going well, and all of us on the science team can't wait for its launch later this year and its arrival to Mars next summer.